I am absolutely not surprised that readers can't let go of their copies of your memoir. I have a round of burning questions about details that the Lamley is obsessing over, okay? I wanna talk a little bit about Derek Jeter. I love that section of the book and the relationship seemed to be very romantic to me. It was your first after Tommy and it artistically inspired songs like The Roof. And when you read the book, one thing that caught my eye was that his being biracial seems to have sealed the deal for you. At that moment in your life, why was that important or notable? Well, it was really the main thing about that moment for me. Um, and, I, and I talk about it in the book because what it is is that just knowing there was somebody else out there that was like me because I did feel so ambiguous and like such an outsider and yet I was living my dream, but I didn't feel really connected to anybody. And I was in an abusive relationship and I knew that that it was over and it was only a matter of time, but just, it was, he became a catalyst for me because all my life when I was a little girl, I was like, you know, one day maybe I'll meet somebody that's similar to me that won't um, not necessarily judge me, but yes, judge me, but look down upon me because they feel superior to me because I'm not one way or another enough mm. for them. Because I hadn't met a, a, a man, certainly I hadn't met a man or a, a, even a little boy when I was growing up that was the same in that way. Because his, his mother's Irish, his father's black. It's a, be they're a beautiful family. I have nothing but glowing things to say about them. I love his sister. Um, his mother gave me a book by Maya Angelou. They're really great people. So I know there was like this weird thing, oh, she's trashing where she said this or that. I think he's painted in a very powerful way. Me too. Way. Yeah.